that Wyoming will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Now let's visit Red Horse Ranch. It's a beautiful moonlight night out on the western plains, and it's just the kind of a night to make any cowboy want to sing, and that's just what they're doing. The Red Horse outfit are all down in the bunkhouse, with the exception of Arizona, who's out where he can get a better look at the moon. Let's listen. you doing sitting out here by yourself? Well, that you, Miss Arizona. I was just listening to that pretty music and thinking about my old gal Louisa. What are you doing out here? Oh, shucks. With them singing in this moonlight out here, I got the feeling kind of romantic. What do you mean, Arizona? Did you used to have a gal? Hey, listen, Cookie. I guess you don't know you're looking at the land champion lady killer of Arizona. I never kill no gal, but I sure would like to see Louisa. And you got no gal you want to see? No, but there's plenty of gals that like to see me. That singing makes me think of a little red-headed gal named Gertie back in Phoenix. She sure was powerful sorry that I packed out of there. Well, what for you pack out? Oh, shucks. Her pa wanted her to marry a city guy. I didn't figure Gertie was worth wearing stiff collars for. Her dad even made me take off my spurs in the house. Ooh, man. She was a swell gal, though. I was gonna marry Louisa till I found out she had a husband. I didn't think I'd better marry her then. Oh, man. I guess Gertie's still waiting for me. And then there was Mamie. Met her at a dance down in Tombstone. I'd have sold my horse and bridle for her. Boy, she was class. Her old man owned a saloon. Well, I had a gal once, and her name was Sophroni. Her pa don't own no saloon, but she sure was handsome. Kind of like complexion. Oh, me. Mamie, she sure was a lady, from her hoofs to her horns. Oh, me. I shall feel lonesome for Louisa. Oh, my. Gosh, 
to the dead moon. I wonder if Mamie's thinking about me. Oh, me. Love show is wonderful. Oh, my. <sighs> Amen. singing that way forever, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Let's have some more of it. Say, if it's entertainment you want, just call on Idaho over there. He'll tell you another one of his tall stories. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, I wouldn't say my stories are so tall, Bob. Oh, no. Only about as tall as Tex Owens over yonder. <laughs> oh, well, right now, Tex is laying down. Ha-ha, are you laying down, Tex? Well, uh, Idaho, I don't count on being measured that way for a long time yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you look what the cat's drug in. What's eating on you, Arizona? Evening, boys. Uh -oh. Well, speak up. What's on your mind? Boys, I'm plumb lonesome for my gal. Reckon there's anything I could do about it? <laughs> sure, grab your guitar and help Tex. He was just about to sing us something or other. Oh, was I? Tex, get up out of that bunk before I dehorn you. <laughs> All right, then. I miss you most of all when the evening shadows fall down the Rocky Mountain Trail. It brings me memories of days that used to be down that Rocky Mountain Trail. Our two hearts are pining down the Rocky Mountain Trail. Birds are sweetly singing, memories are bringing on the Rocky Mountain Trail. Once a song of sadness, now it's turned to gladness down the Rocky Mountain Trail. Soon we'll be returning to a heart that's yearning. Down the Rocky Mountain Trail And I Did that suit you all right, Arizona? <laughs> well, it helped a little, Tex But I wish uh, that moon up there wasn't quite so big Plum pulls a heart right out of me. <laughs> One of them western moons will do put near anything to a feller. Yeah. It is a right nice moon, ain't a tenderfoot. Why, yes, it is. I reckon Rose is a setting up there on the porch like she always is in the evenings. Mighty lonesome for her up there alone. But Alabama, I haven't any business up there. Oh, tenderfoot, get them fool notions out of your head. Now get yourself on up there. Uh, Say, if there was any girl I was stuck on anywhere near here tonight, I wouldn't need no invitation. Uh, <laughs> That's right, tenderfoot. I wouldn't either. Yeah, I've been noticing that, Alabama. Oh, don't <laughs> listen to him, tenderfoot. Well, anyhow, let's sing something else. I feel sort of good tonight. Well, I don't Come see on. what there is to feel good about. Huh? Don't look like there's nothing much ahead of us around here. Oh. Dad'll have the ranch sold any day now. Cheyenne, I want to say something in answer to that. 
Can't you remember us having trouble before? Well, yeah. I suppose you've forgotten the time that freeze came that took darn near every longhorn we had. No. Did we give up then? No. Of course we didn't. Oh, boys, Dad Carter's getting old now. He may not be the fighter he was, but by golly, if we stand behind him, nothing's going to happen to this ranch. Gosh, that's a long speech for one Aubrey to make. Oh, punch <laughs> on you, Arizona. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's all right. I know it don't look so good to you. Oh, don't listen to him, Alabama. We're with you every step of the way, ain't we, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm mighty glad to hear you say that, fellas. Now, I think I owe it to you to tell you what I've had on my mind. What? Boys, I've got good reason to believe there's oil on the Red Horse oh, Ranch. Oh, oh, oh. And that's why Bradford wants to buy this well, ranch. Man, that's something to think about. Man, man, it looks like them good old times are coming back again. Yes, sir. That's right, Idaho. Hit that song. Yeah. Boys. <laughs> Better times are coming. <laughs> yes, we're sure of that. Too bad we have to leave the boys now with their songs and their fun on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> 